Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer at 3M and today I'd like to go through the 3M Performance Spray Gun Kit. I'll go through what comes in the kit as well as show you how to use it for bulk feed applications as well as gravity feed applications utilizing the 3M Series 2.0 PPS. First and foremost, you have the spray gun, which is a durable composite gun body. It will come with the whip hose assembly for bulk feed application. It will also come with a regulator and pressure gauge and a re replacement locking ring. This is a spare. Along with nozzles for both gravity feed applications and pressure feed. And these will be assortment packs with all of the available tip sizes. PPS is also included, which you'll need the one hard cup assembly, as well as replacement lids and liners. And it will come with the standard size, which is 22 ounce, as well as the 200 micron, which are clear, and the 125 micron lid, uh, which is that filter mesh size, which is blue. Re uh, ceiling plugs are also included, so you'll have a few of those. And now I'd like to go through the assembly of the gun for an industrial application. So first you can just remove that protective foam from the needle and then grab your whip hose assembly and remove the retention pin. You'll then slide the whip hose assembly bracket onto the air inlet of the gun and replace the retention pin. Once that's in place, grab the nozzle with the tip, appropriate tip size for your application and you'll slide that over the needle firmly. It helps to keep that trigger pulled as you do this and then rotate the locking collar all the way around until it hits a stop. Once in place, you'll see it's an X instead of a plus sign. Then to attach your fluid connection, you'll need to, while sliding up, on, on the connection, you'll need to give it a quarter turn rotation to lock that in place. Lastly, you'll attach your air gauge. And at this time, we ask that you just use one wrench to tighten that top swivel and ensure that that's secure. Now you'll use your whatever bulk feed system is going to be used, you will actually attach your fluid hose to the bottom of the whip hose and attach your air line to the bottom of the air regulator gauge. In addition to what's shown here in the kit, you can purchase a optional shutoff valve accessory. And to utilize that, you thread it onto the inlet of the hose whip between your fluid supply and the bottom threads of the hose whip. This allows you to do a quick quarter rotation turn shut off for the times you need to replace nozzles on the gun without having to depressurize your bulk system. This same gun can be used for quick touch up or smaller jobs by removing our pressure assembly leaving that connected to whatever bulk feed system it was being used with Remove your pressure nozzle. If it was just used, be sure that you wipe that needle clean. And then grab a gravity feed nozzle, assembled the same way onto the gun. Once you have a gravity nozzle onto the gun, you can connect to your PPS Series 2.0 and use that for any light touch-up work or smaller applications utilizing the exact same gun body. Thanks everyone for tuning in. That's all there is for this video. We'll catch you next time.